earlier. And then K9 beat out Jason to make it out here. Jason beating out Con Con and Nintendo. Elegant, of course, beating out Cyro 2 1. And Cyro, of course, beating out Key 2 0. So we'll see how things will play out in this matchup here. And loser side immediately. We can see Elegant starting off with the classic fireball spacing, but Cannon having none of it goes with the reflector. Wolf is a player and a character that I have not seen in a hot minute all, all night. Yeah, he's been sticking with the Sheik for the most part. I think maybe he was thinking stick with Sheik all winter side. Yeah. And now that he's in losers, he's finally going his true main, which is the Wolf. He did receive a very slight nerf to his down smash, but it's not quite that much. Wow, Elegant didn't have a jump and he <laughs> couldn't make it back after that. Yeah, he actually lost the jump. That would have been super crucial to have here. Here's the up throw to the forward air. Missing that opportunity here because Elegant does have that hitbox with the tornado. I mean, Sheik buffs are nice, man, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I really do love how K9 embodies Wolf as a player and as a, as a character altogether. That's why I'm really happy to see him stick with Wolf here, especially in loser semis. Money's on the line here. Yeah, exactly. All right, using that blaster, just using that spacing, keep him at the ledge, keep, make him hesitant to pick a ledge option. And again, yeah, those B reverses and those wave bounces that you use with those blasters is so good to keep people off guard. How's he gonna get back to the stage? Oh. Just goes, jumps right around, saves his jump the entire time, <laughs> catches the end lag of that cycle, and that's gonna be a forward smash right in the face. I mean, a, a tail as old as time is Kane versus any Luigi man here, and so far, he's looking to get that punishment after the, the tornado gets back to here from Elegant. It's not gonna take care of the stock. Here's Kane's patience play here, is he wants to make sure what Elegant's gonna go for when he goes for offstage. That's how he survived the last time, right? He didn't go for anything right away, he wanted to wait to have that double jump come back on the stage. Here's the Nair, sees the low options here, but not gonna do anything, just comes back to the stage. Goes really low for it. I respect Ooh. the attempt to just try and finish off the stock. When Luigi's side being like that, you wanna try and take every opportunity you can. Not quite gonna work out in this situation. Doesn't get the landing up there. Oh, That's man. the big thing you needed for the up B finisher to seal out the stock. Not quite gonna happen here, but oh, it doesn't matter man. if you catch the side Bs and all of a sudden that sacrifice stock <laughs> already Paying dividends for Elegant, bringing him back around potentially. He can get one big combo like that again. Yeah. He can bring this back around. The accounting firm and the stock count is not really happy about that. K9 was so positive here and he lost so much momentum going for such a big gamble. Not only that, you gotta remember, Side B doesn't auto snap the ledge. You are committed to that when you go for it. So K9 gonna go back to playing the spacing game. That's kinda how he got to this point, right? He had Elegant at the kill and it was the spacing, it was those B reverse blasters. Yeah, you, you see all of a sudden though, K9, the w okay, there we go. Four Tilt, I'll barely close it out. He was <laughs> starting to slowly change his playstyle, which I thought might have been dangerous because, then especially on the first and the second stock, yeah. he was on top of Elegant, made him hesitant, made him try to cyclone out of disadvantage, made him try to continue his advantage by using mm -hmm. cyclone, using forcing him to go for these high committal options, and then K9 just rode the bank with that yeah. and then took out two clean stocks. The third time around, he was facing more with the blaster and been more hesitant to try and space Nair, try to approach with different options, and that made Elegant slowly try to bring it back. Exactly. And then that could have been dangerous, but the forward tilt, being clutch, uh, <laughs> Wolf in general being a very clutch <laughs> character for that kind of scenario. I mean, that forward tilt, right, it's got some range to it. You can angle it. It's only a one frame difference between two hits, so it's pretty powerful, and it's really good for two framing. It's really great at the ledge, but immediately speaking of being good at the ledge, man, Elegant just trying to put this man in the corner already. 77% unanswered yet from K9, but he's got he's working on something here. Finish your, oh, finish your entree before you work on the side dishes, man, because this is where it's going to come down to, right? Yeah. Oh, down to pick some up right there at the edge. Not quite going to be able to find that down smash, but still just back and forth. These two able to combo each other. These two are combo food for each other for oh. days. Big DBZ moment. Elegant's going to be able to have enough time to make it back to the stage, though, without much worry. But the forward tilt, again, the edge trapping from Wolf. Such a strong character oh, gets to be able to keep him off stage. That's death, yeah. Yep, lost the jump there. That situation with the Nair, man. He saw Elegant's commitments. Like, hold on, let me go a little bit low here for you. I see how you like it. It's really good that we saw even Charlie tweet out about how Wolf can catch rolls with forward tilt if he gets the right spacing here. So K9 yeah. super aware of that. Comes in with the forward air and makes himself a little bit way to come back to the stage. And I love the B reverses. We've been saying that so hot, right? Able to use that fireball option. Careful on the landing here. Yeah, and I love it. Every time K9 uses it, he's either using it when Elegant's trying to push himself into Vanish State, and that just is a big yeah. momentum stopper, or he's trying to apply pressure and is like, okay, you're stuck at the ledge. Let me go ahead and just stop you from trying to come back. And again, a different kind of momentum stopper. Instead of trying to use it in a neutral where you're starting to be a little bit more vulnerable. Against, exactly. Especially against a character like Ooh. Luigi. Another forward smash to the face. These Cyclones aren't quite working out, but I think Elegant's just bagging on the time where the mix-up finally does work. Yeah. And then he's able to get the stock, you know? Alright, uh, speaking of getting the stock, man, uh, K9, he's gonna wanna play a little bit more safe, because we saw how much the accounting firm was not happy for him playing dividends the wrong way. 
All right, gets back on the stage. He nearly just wants to hold on to the high ground here. Anakin's the one trying to fight here, and he's able to finally get that Cyclone. And that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I finally found this, the, the mix-up. Yeah, exactly. he, he won't expect it the fifth time in a row. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that's the mix-up of mix-ups here, right? When your opponent is not ready for that last final time. He's able to get through. Cannon holds the stage, man. Holds the cards. Elegant fighting for it. We talked about the universes. It's so good because you just space yourself a little bit behind as well. Just trying to move around here. Gets a landing here. Waits for the landing as well. He wanted to see if he was going to go for the tech to go for a down smash or a forward smash. Very nice from Cannon. I like that he waited just in case he wanted to see if he went through the platform or if he was going to land on the mm -hmm. platform first. That way he got a guaranteed punish rather than being overcommittal with it. He's going to have to recover somehow. Yeah. But again, oh, Luigi's uh, air drift is just so bad in this game <laughs> uh even more so than the other games i feel oh, yeah. and it just makes it so that wolf can ledge trap super easily and Still that's what Kanan is looking damage. for right the ledge trap options here gets the down air that is i'm sorry gets the cycle that is gonna be it once again man the accounting firm is not happy how Kanan is losing these stocks yo man but stock count sometimes doesn't really matter it's all about the momentum too as well 164 percent Kanan has to finish this entree Yep, can I do oh. a little bit of circle camping, a little bit of just trying to go in as soon as he notices that Elegant's getting a lick of trying to approach and just beat him out with an air. It's really smart stuff. Back throw should be able to do it even from center stage, but you know what? This is PS1, not PS2. Yeah. So slightly different, I feel. I'm not sure 100% about the differences between he the two. Yeah, he actually, Kanan actually mentioned he's not a fan of how PS2 works in terms of the camera movement. So he talked about how he wanted the gentleman to PS1 over PS2. So he did mention that on his Twitter. I still need to check the real set on that. I don't know if we have a gentleman's class, man. Oh, I, I, I actually don't know. I, there are some things that are... Um, I know it's the underlip of PS1. That, that's why we choose PS2. Yes, oh. the neutral air sees the normal get up here. And k finally able to get that stock, man. Why is the sweat off his brow? <laughs> I mean, that was looking like a sweaty last stock situation for k Ellen Because he knew once he let him back on the stage, it was ouch time. Oh, Elegant not looking too happy right now. Yeah. I mean... You know, Elegant's one of those players that has very high peaks, very low lows, yeah. especially when it comes to mentality and sometimes uh, when it comes to how he just plays the game in general. Sometimes he can explode and sometimes uh, it just doesn't work out. I think yeah. that's why Luigi might fit Elegant, just because of like, yeah. just how it works. <laughs> like, yeah, you can get really high highs and you can have really low lows as well. So we'll see if Elegant can keep his composure. He's been much better at it than he has been in his high school days. So. Yeah. We'll have to see how it goes down. Oh, definitely uh, much better, for sure. Um, yeah, but this, quick, is, this is not a good sign, though. No. Oh, go, go, continue, though. I'm so sorry. Real quick. Uh, I do remember this, the California rule set that actually mentions there's no such thing as a gentleman. Okay. Yeah, so I, I think we're just going to let this one right out. This isn't a major, but usually a major, so you would have to go ahead and contact the PO, and it could involve in a double elimination. So just letting you all know, California rule set does not allow gentlemen at all. Okay. Only for gentlemen for Battlefield and uh, Final Destination, and as long as it doesn't affect any of the axes of the stages. Yeah. And I, uh, what I wanted to talk about was uh, how hesitant Elegant was to even switch to Mario. Yeah. I think that's a big tell against... Uh, your opponent. Exactly. So, like, K9 just knows that. He's probably not as confident with it. That's why he's still being reckless and that's why he's still being aggressive when he's trying to approach Elegant because he knows that probably he's not feeling it 100% so he knows that he can just beat him out air to air one more time just catch him on the tech chase put him off stage potentially get oh. the kill but the up smash not going to connect there. He should have a little bit spaced that a little bit better there. K9 would have probably got the get up option there. And it would have been worked out better if he did space it. So K9 still alive using the double jump to make sure it comes back on stage goes for the wolf fire not the flash here. He doesn't want to get caught in a possible opportunity where Elegant gets the punish. Especially since you don't auto set the ledge. Here's the forward tilt safe poke. That's no joke. <laughs> gets the grab and the down throw. Not going to be it just yet. Elegant fighting for life here. Oh, the breakdance though. Going to have to use the wolf flash. Oh, oh. And just right outside the range. He was afraid of Elegant going in for the edge guard. So yeah. he tried to space himself perfectly. But just a little bit outside the range. And he knows. Like, Elegant's so good at catching two frames. Not only that, the fact that he doesn't auto set the ledge. Elegant gets so much off of it. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, Elegant is alive and well. Well, a three stock over one. K9 losing a lot of momentum here. Here's the back throw. Not going to be a great DI coming off from Elegant. Using the blaster to force Elegant to change the approach. He has to go low, so we miss the roll get up here. Alrighty. Okay, I like that. He just DI's in. It's like, oh, I'm not dealing with any fair mix ups. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and try and take out this stock before things get too hairy. But slowly the lead is going away. The Mario definitely working out. Much more consistent character. But the upbeat not going to snap to the ledge that time. K9 will be able to find a stock with that four tilt. But right now, still trying to tack on the pressure. The great parry using oh, the four no and the jab block. But 
finishes this off with a back air. I'm not so sure that jab lock was go for so there. big, though. Even if he didn't get anything much off of it, that percent that he's just building up on K9, the momentum, oof, that's gotta hurt, man. Yeah. Wolf right outside of that fireball range from the super hot fire. Not quite gonna be able to connect that forward smash. But he's still gonna try and recover back from the ledge. Still a little bit difficult. Oh, but he's gonna make it back just fine. There we go. Okay, gets back on the stage here. Get, goes for the double jump there. I like it. Just trying to stall out his options are uh, solid play but here's the shield standoff and that's where Keenan has to be careful right how long am i going to send in shield enough for elegant to understand what i'm going to do with it because yeah. I, I really have to let go go for an aerial and then commit here's the back end no stock for k9 but he's looking to line with the nair and really elegant gets over that yeah can i looking like he's showing his tell that he really wants to find this kill finally going to be able to find it with that up smash of course his smash attacks are relatively safe anyway so doesn't have to quite worry about it that much Goes on the landing here. Okay. Gonna make it jump back just fine. I mean, One more potential edge guard scenario. Oh, He's gonna make it out just fine. There's a forward air. A couple of them, man, and this is going in a work. Down throw. Wait for the options. I like that dash dance. He wanted to see how Elegant was gonna respond. But oh. unfortunately, going for those aerials, man. Elegant's gonna see that you're overhead. Get the up smash. Get it over with. Yeah, the Mario doing much better that time around. Gonna yeah. be able to seal out a game. I think that was actually a two stock too. Actually, yeah, it was so, so close to a two stock. It, it's good that Cannon fought for it too, because that would have been a, a momentum loss as well. Oh, gotta hurt. Yeah, of course. Shout out to the the granddaddy of two GG champ in the background, putting the setups away, man. Yeah, hard at work right now. Yeah. While we get to commentate and enjoy the event, <laughs> but here we go. <laughs> hey, man, tis life, tis life of one of the greatest TOs out there. But let's go back into one of the greatest matchups out there: Cannon versus any Luigi main. But it's gonna be Mario instead. Kanan kind of been used to fighting Mario, especially in Zenyu when he lived out in the 818. Right. Oh, you can think jump out of that combo. Elegant still on the chase, gonna misspace himself just a little bit. Yeah. In matchups like these, especially, I feel like most of it is just, uh, he messed up, now I go in. You messed up, <laughs> you're gonna go in on me, you know? Because uh, because you want to extend yourself as much as you want because you have the combo potential and you don't oh. have to worry about disjoints and stuff like that interrupting your flow. But oh, no tech? Oh, yeah. yeah more yes. opportunities like this. Down smash can be able to close it out. Oh, yeah, this positive there. trade. Mm -hmm. It, you talk about one of those things that Kanan's so good at is just catching your opponent, not going for the tech. It's super crucial because you're able to avoid getting comboed by Wolf. He gets the forward smash, the down smash. You gotta watch out, man. You gotta remember the tech. And it was so good for Kanan to go with down smash to that position because if Elegant tech there and went for a tech roll back to try to go for a possible cross up like that, Kanan was already one step ahead of him. Yep. Kanan not quite finding these techs. He's been able to get two jab blocks already on this set with only two games of. Uh, Mario so far. Oh, the fair game. strings. Not able to send him off with the nair, but oh. still catches him. Trying to get back to the stage. That positioning for Kanan was really smart because he wanted Elegant to go low. That's why he sent the down smash. That was Fourth very throw? smart. Uses that double jump to be able to bait out that uh, anti-air option. You see that a lot of people do that in FGC too, especially in Dragon Ball. Oh. Well, he's doing the exact same thing here, paying dividends for him. Being able to keep up his positioning. How does he get back? Oh, the jabs! Oh, solid options there, and K9 kind of stuck up the legs. There's a roll. Hey, man, you gotta come. You gotta watch out because you have so many ways to get back up. But I feel I respect it from K9 because if you went for a jump get up there, Kanan, um, Elegant would have gotten in the back air, right? He would have took him out. But immediately when you see Elegant charging that up smash, yo, man, just go for a different option. He's already kind of signaling what he's going for. Yeah. And sometimes the opposite player will put himself at the position where it's like, oh, it's, will my get up attack reach yeah. here? It's like. Mil mi micrometers, and that's the kind of micro spacing that's really essential, especially in a game like Ledge Trapping. Oh. We'll have to see great pivot grab, puts him back again off stage, and have to go for another option, but there will be no option there. Goes for the jump read, catches a strong nair, and that's going to be another stock going to K9. I and mean, he's not done yet, gets that first fair, potentially setting up for a better percent to be able to continue a string. Oh, Elegant says, please go low. There's almost there's a two frame there, but that hitbox coming out from K9, so beefy from the Wolf Fire. Nair waits for the options here, but he moves, just takes the stage to himself. Oh. Is that back air? Watch out for that landing here, Kanan. Able to finally sneak around the second up air. It's on the chase. Try to find the super hot fire twice. Elegant showing he's really hungry for this kill. And I think Kanan's going to be a little bit careful on his spacing, but goes in, mixes it up with the grab this time around. Gives himself a little bit more room. Oh. Yep. Uh, oh, I, I see. I, I told. I respect it here because he actually just wanted to walk away and see Elegant coming back and turn on with the four toe. I res I see that option, but fortunately, can I walk a little too slow, man? All right, but still, 122 against a character like Wolf. Scary percent to be at. 
That's death percents either way. Yeah, but we've seen K9 also die at like 20 because of one off fair. <laughs> so we'll have to see. And this is how it starts. Really big potential here. The flood comes out, not able to push him into a position where he can get a potential edge guard. He's got to get out of the ledge, but K9 giving him the respect actually. Yeah, it's really big coming out from Milligan. There's an air. Good option. They're able to get back on stage. <laughs> Chad is mixing out. K9 playing extra safe. One thing we've not seen him go is for those... Okay, <laughs> I was going to say, man, please don't roll those oh, smash. No. He saw the cross-up. He saw the cross-up. you, you got to be used to that, because Marlos love that cross-up. You have to be careful with that one. And he gets the punishment in Neo Me. There's the out smash. Yeah, well, I mean...